We'll call to order the regular September 16, 2013 meeting of the Robertson County Commission. We'll begin with the invocation by Pastor Ron Baptiste, the Covenant Confirmers Church, to be followed by the pledge to the flag. Let's pray. Father, we come before you tonight. We ask your blessings upon this place. And Father, we ask for wisdom, as Solomon did, Father, wisdom to lead these, your people, and to make the decisions, Father, you would have us to make. Father, we ask for a hedge of protection about these men that lead this community, Father, and the law enforcement officers that protect us. Father, we pray for our soldiers that protect our freedom and all those that have paid the price. We lift you up. We give you glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Commissioners, at this time we will have the uh, roll call. The clerk will call the roll. Ed Conk, absent. Daggett, absent. Bowen, absent. Bowen, absent. Bowen, absent. Bowen, There being 17 commissioners present and seven absent, I declare that we do have a six absent. I'm sorry, six absent because we we only so we, we have a majority now is 12. I should point out we have 17 present and uh, six absent. So I do declare that we have a quorum. Uh, I want to remember Commissioner Bill Gray who is. Uh, in hospital has been since yesterday, Commissioner Gray. Is that right? Yes. So we want to keep him very close in your prayers. And I know there's a great deal of other sickness in the community. Commissioner DiOrio's dad is in hospital, which is why he's not with us tonight. You have before you the minutes from the uh, uh, August meeting. What's your pleasure? I have a motion by Mr. Baggett, and second by Commissioner Gregory. They be uh, accepted. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. So they are approved. Only two things that uh, the chair has tonight about the comprehensive growth plan and uh, MPO membership. I want to thank those of you who came out last week as we finished up the uh, presentations of our countywide growth plan. I want to thank Commissioner Garner for his leadership in guiding that committee. Uh, that plan will be going to the planning commission for their consideration at their uh, next meeting or probably their October meeting. Is that correct, Mr. Toe? which means it'll be coming to you in November. So uh, very shortly, you'll have the comp plan uh, for your consideration. And hopefully, if you've, if you've had questions to ask about that, they have been asked. You can go to the Chamber website at any time and download the plan and uh, for your consideration. So very, very important step forward for our community. And along the same lines, I'll, I'll mention that a little reminder that we've been attempting to gain membership uh, into the Metropolitan Planning Organization now for almost three years. It's through the MPO where highway, state highway funds are allocated. And I think we're coming up very shortly to a vote by the MPO on consideration of this and uh, probably at their uh, October meeting. So I think Robertson County and Murray County will, will come in. 
the requirements of their bylaws are that the three largest cities within your county have to first be members. Uh, Springfield and White House have been members for a number of years. Greenbrier uh, voted to join just this past week. So now we have met that criteria. So hopefully the next thing will be for this body to approve membership. Then it will go to the governor for his consideration and the legislature when that all hashes out in January. But we are making progress in that direction and look forward to that going forward. Any questions about either one of those issues? Next thing the chair has is reports, and the first one is 7.1, which is the financial report. Question point two, uh, 7.2 is the uh, highway report. 7.3 is a report from solid waste. 7.4 is a report from animal control. 7.5 is a report from our veterans service officer. 7.6 is a report from EMS. 7.7 is a report of the trustee statement of funds. 7.8 report from the planning commission. 7.9 is from the fire service. 7.10 is from Gore McBain Public Library. 7.11 is from EMA. And those are the reports the chair has. What's your pleasure? Mr. Chair, uh, Commissioner, I'd like to ask a uh, question. On uh, the EMA, Yes. the uh, our comp time hours are over 1,000, uh, 1,800 hours, I believe. Yeah. And they went from 300 about Three months ago to 18, 18, 100. One of the other is a misprint, Commissioner Stubblefield, and I don't know, this This probably looks closer to reality because that's just the problem when you have a one-person department. Sometimes... Uh, it's been going along in the 300s. Well, no, that, that's, a, that, that's a mistake then. I don't, I'm not sure what the figure is, but we'll find that out and get it. Because wasn't he off and, from work and for check about two months with you. his heart attack during this time period? Uh, I don't remember when that was, but I'll check and see about those hours and get a, get a clarification about that because that, it wouldn't have jumped up that much in that period of time. Commissioner Eden. Uh, Howard, this uh, came up in the EMS meeting. Okay. And uh, Mr. Douglas was absent. So I was the one that brought it up and I said I, I don't want to discuss it until he's here. So so we'll have to discuss it in October. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I, we'll, we'll find out because I think that's a, that's a mistake. Any other questions about the reports? What's your pleasure? Have a motion they be received in order to file, seconded by Commissioner Jackson. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no, so they are approved. Uh, for elections and appointments, I'm going to recognize Commissioner Billy Vogel, who's chairman of the nominating committee for the September 2013 committees. Mr. Vogel. Mr. Chairman, Madam Clerk, fellow commissioners, and ladies and gentlemen of the audience, we've got three committees tonight that came that's coming up for re-election. And it's a handicap advisory board of finance management and Northcrest trustees. If I can get a second, I'll, I'll read on. A second by Commissioner Gray. Okay, the handicap advisory board is a one-year term. It's Arthur Garrison, Reverend Frank Evans, Deborah Justice, and Bill Gray. Finance management is a one-year term. It's Buddy Bryant, Robert Farmer, Lanny Hadcock, and Tommy Baggett. The Northcrest trustees, which comes from Northcrest, is a three-year term. It's Dr. George Deheer, Amy Gallagher, Ted Stubblefield, and is that Tatania Cummings? Tatia Cummings. Okay. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no, so they are elected. Thank you. And uh, this being September, we elect a chair and a chair pro tem of this body. Commissioner Jones. I move that, that, that Howard Bradley be retained for one more year as speaker of this one more. board. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Are there other nominations? I vote to nominate the seats for Mr. Bradley elected. All those in favor of that say aye. Aye. Opposed no. So thank you very much. Uh, the other the other position that you elect annually is the position of uh, Chairman Pro Tem. Currently, Commissioner uh, Garner. Renominate Commissioner Haley. Mr. Haley has been nominated. 
And seconded. And are there other nominations? The nomination be ceased. Elect by acclamation. Have a motion to nomination cease. And Mr. Haley be elected by acclamation. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. So Mr. Haley is chairman pro tem for another year. Thank you. Thank you for the confidence that my fellow commissioners have put into me. I hope they never have to be used. I wish you good health. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Let's see, uh, public hearing for planning and zoning. I'm going to recognize now Mrs. Martha Wilkinson, who is our planning director. If you are here to speak in favor of or in opposition to any of the rezoning resolutions, if you'll please stand and give your name to the clerk, we'll hear your, we'll hear your comment. And then we'll close that and bring it back to the commission for their consideration. Ms. Martha. Our first resolution is for Mr. Joseph R. Brookshire. He is requesting that 1.15 acres located on Goodman Road, the 6th Silver District, the 7th Folding District, have a change of zoning from AG2 to R40, which is low density. The Planning Commission looked at this at our September meeting, and the vote was 9 to 0 for you to rezone. Anyone here to speak to this resolution? Ms. Martha. The second resolution is for Mr. J.T. Spain. He is requesting one acre located on Buzzard Creek Road, the 5th Civil District, the 7th Voting District, have a change of zoning from AG2 to R40. The Planning Commission voted, and their vote was 9 to 0 for you to rezone. Anyone here to speak to that resolution? <coughs> Ms. Martha. The third resolution is from Mr. Joshua T. Spain. He is requesting 1.34 acres located on Buzzard Creek Road. The 5th Civil District, the 7th Voting District, have a change of zoning from AG2 to R40. The Planning Commission voted 9 to 0 for you to rezone. Anyone to speak to that resolution? Ms. Martha. Fourth resolution is from Ms. Lee L. Wagger, representing the William A. Half Estate. She is uh, requesting that you rezone 0 0.26 acres located on Cortland Road, the 12th Civil District, the 10th Voting District. The Planning Commission vote was 9 to 0 for you to rezone. Anyone to speak to that resolution? Ms. Martha. The fifth resolution is from Mr. William F. Jones. He is requesting 3.97 acres located on Cross Plains Road, the 15th Civil District, the 8th Voting District, have a change of zoning from AG2 to I1, which is general industrial. The Planning Commission voted 9 to 0 for you to rezone. Anyone to speak to that resolution? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing at this time and bring these resolutions for consideration back to the body. <clears throat> Anyone have any questions or comments for Ms. Martha? You had any opposition to number five, the junkyard? Have had no opposition. I've had a couple of calls but they were not opposed it. Other questions? Chair would entertain a motion to approve resolutions one through four. Have a motion by Commissioner Gray and second by Commissioner Bryant. Seeing no opposition to question being put. If you're, if you're in favor of this, vote yes when the clerk calls your name and vote no if you're opposed. Madam Clerk. House? Yes. <coughs> Yes. Ray Dilly? Absent. Diorio? Absent. Gregory? Yes. Spears? Absent. Brown? Yes. Adcock? Absent. Duggar? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Vogel? Yes. Doris? Yes. Stubblefield? Yes. Baggett? Yes. Bill Gray? Absent. Garner? Yes. Bobby Jones? Uh, uh, yes. Ray Kevin? Yes. Haley? Yes, ma'am. Bowens? Yes. Farmer? Absent. <clears throat> 17 Sherman C. There being 17 votes in favor, none opposed, and six absent, the chair declares, declares that uh, ado adopted. Chair will now uh, accept a motion to approve resolution number five. 
have a motion by Commissioner Baggett and second by Commissioner Gregory. If you're in favor of this resolution, please vote yes when your name is called. If you're opposed, vote no at this time. Madam Clark. Yes. Jackson. Yes. Eden. Yes. Ray Billy. Absent. Giorgio. Absent. Gregory. Yes. Spears. Absent. Brown. Yes. Adcock. Absent. Duggar. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Bryant. Yes. Vogel. Yes. Doris. Yes. Stubberfield. Yes. Baggett. Yes. Gray Bill. Absent. Garner. Yes. Jones. Yes. Gray Kevin. Yes. Haley. Yes, ma'am. Bowens. Yes. Farmer. Absent. There being 17 votes in favor, none opposed, and six absent, I declare that resolution approved. Thank you, Ms. Martha. So now it's time ready for new resolutions, and we'll recognize Commissioner Bobby Couch for the first two. The first one being the uh, bond for our highway superintendent, uh, Mr. Delvin Hester. Commissioner Bobby Couch. Mr. Mayor, Madam Clerk, fellow commissioners. Honored guest, I'd like to present to you resolution 091-613-072, resolution approving surety bond for the county official appointed officials. And, and second by Commissioner Garner. Any questions? I got a question. Mr. Point of information, Mr. Mayor. What, and I probably have asked this in the past, but I don't remember the answer. Uh, what is what do we use for the determining factor of how much to ask for the bond each? That's that's by statute. Issues. That's done by statute. The state tells us how much that is. And Ms. Tester, do you know how much it is for yours? Hundred thousand. Okay. By uh, the comptroller's office. The population. Okay. Because I believe that it's more than what it was last time. That's why I asked that. It was Okay. Population increased. Other questions? Okay. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes when your name is called. If you're opposed, vote no when your name is called. Cass? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Eden? Yes. Ray Billy? Absent. DeRoyo? Absent. Gregory? Yes. Spears? Absent. Brown? Yes. Adcock? Absent. Duggar? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Vogel? Yes. Doris? Yes. Stubberfield? Yes. Baggett? Yes. Gray Bailey, absent. Garner? Yes. Jones? Yes. Gray Kevin? Yes. Haley? Yes, ma'am. Bowens? Yes. Farmer? Absent. There being 17 votes in favor, none opposed, and six absent, I declare that resolution approved. Mr. Couch. I'd like to present resolution 091-613-073. This is a resolution to declare a surplus property for the EMS. Second, second by, by uh, Commissioner Bryant. I think you have that list before you of what they are declaring surplus property. Yes, sir. First. Any questions second. about the resolution? Question. The resolution's been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes when your name is called. If you're opposed, vote no when your name is called. Madam Clerk. Cass? <coughs> yes. Jackson? Yes. Eden? Yes. Ray Billy? Absent, Gregory? Yes. Spears? Absent, yes. Brown? Yes. Adcock? Absent, Duggar? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Vogel? Yes. Doris? Yes. Stubberfield? Yes. Bryant? Excuse me. Baggett? Yes. Gray Billy? Absent, Garner? Yes. Jones? Yes. Gray Kevin? Yes. Haley? Yes. Bowens? Yes. Farmer, absent. 17 votes in favor, none opposed, and six absent. I declare those resolutions approved. Thank you, Commissioner. Recognize now Commissioner Steve Haley for the resolution for the annexation of the new South Springfield Elementary School site by the city of Springfield. This comes to you from <coughs> the Board of Education. Commissioner Haley. Fellow Commissioners, Madam Clark, members of the audience, I present to you tonight Resolution 091613074. Resolution to re uh, request annexation of the new South Springfield Elementary School site by the City of Springfield. And there a second? Second by Commissioner Bobby Jones. 
Do you want to have your questions? Voting on Commissioner Haley. Here's what we're voting we on here. Requesting the city of Springfield to annex the future school site. Question. Question's been called for. Any opposition question being put? Seeing none, if you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes when your name is called. If you're opposed, vote no when your name is called. Madam Clerk. Counts? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Eden? Yes. Ray Billy? Absent. DiRoyo? Absent. Gregory? Yes. Spears? Absent. Brown? Yes. Edcock? Absent. Duggar? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Vogel? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Stutterfield? Yes. Baggett? Yes. Ray Billy? Absent. Garner? Yes. Jones? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Haley? Yes. Bowens? Yes. Uh, Farmer? Absent. Being 17 votes in favor, none opposed, and six absent, I declare that resolution approved. Any old business to come before this body? Under new business, I'm going to recognize Commissioner Haley for a Resolution, Mr. Haley. Mr. Mayor, Madam Clark, commissioners, fellow members, or citizens of the audience, I present to you tonight resolution number 09161375. It's a resolution to approve tree cutting plan on the continu oh, for continuing donation to the Springfield Athletic Association. Second to that motion. Second, Second by Commissioner Bryant. Mr. Haley. What this uh, is is the. the the Athletic Association is going to cut some additional timber off of um, the 40, is it 43 acres? We're going to cut additional timber off of and to do this we had to get permission from Miss Jackie Guthrie and she approved this contract. We have one, one bid, one person turned in a bid and the, the, fund, the revenue from this will go towards the Athletic Association which we hope to, hope to eventually build athletic facilities at Springfield High School. Commission will recall that I think it was in February you approved yes, the sir. removal and sale of the timber on the right-hand side of 76. Well, this is the left-hand side of 76. The same same prospect and just a little more property that will be applied toward the athletic facilities. Miss Guthrie's property? We'll have to access Miss no, Guthrie's to property access. to get to it. Is that not correct? We have to go through her property get to it. This is county property. She's She's I'll allowed request, us to. I request that Mr. Blackwood be a member of the Motion committee. to make Mr. Blackwood a member of this body. Second by Commissioner Gray. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no. Mr. Blackwood, if you'll come to the microphone, you maybe you can explain the details of this. The, the land is basically landlocked. We have road frontage on Highway 76. We have road frontage on High, uh, Highway 49. <coughs> But we're landlocked simply because we can't get access off 49, and we have, and we have a creek coming down uh, off of 76. We've got a little frontage there, but you can't get across it without building a bridge. And Jackie Guthrie has us on two sides, and I have taken her over there with Mr. Ted Nelson, who was a former forester. I've taken the state forester over there, and she has agreed to let us come across her land if we use the same guy that we've been using, and we had a very successful operation with him. Uh, he's as honest as the day is long, and I've got a list of everything and saw everything that was taken off that property and dealt with the buyer. So it's, uh, it's a good opportunity, and that land has not been cut in about 45 years. So it needs to be cut. Now, there's some thin places up in there where there used to be a little bit of pasture, but that was 45 years ago. Other questions? And this property belongs to the, to the school system? No, it belongs to the county. The, the school and the, uh, this property were at one time donated by the Brown estate to the system. And then the uh, county commission gave the school property, along with some that I owned on the other side, uh, to the school system. And this was the property that's left, and it's basically undevelopable and without building a bridge. Other questions? And that's why Springfield High School is built at that location, because the property was donated. Other Great. questions? Questions been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes when your name is called. If you're opposed, vote no when your name is called. Madam Clerk. Counts? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Eden? Yes. Ray Billy? Absent. Diorio? Absent. Gregory? Yes. 
Spears, absent. Brown? Yes. Adcock, absent. Duggar? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Vogel? Yes. Doris? Yes. Stubblefield? Yes. Baggett? Yes. Ray Dilley, absent. Garner? Yes. Jones? No. Yes. Ray Kevin? Yes. Haley? Yes. Bowens? Yes. Farmer? Absent? There being 17 votes in favor, none opposed, and six absent, I declare that approved. Is there anything anything else under new business? Mr. Jones, I'll recognize you for the election of notaries, if I may. You'll find at your desk a list of 10 individuals who are requesting to be made notary representing Robertson County in the state of Tennessee. They've all qualified, and I'm usually recommend. And is there a second to that? Second by Commissioner Brown. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no, so they are elected. Chair, Commissioner, Commissioner Doris. Yes, sir. Hey, I got to bring it out. They uh, been getting phone calls about, about the budget I voted on. Can somebody enlighten me more about it? About what comes, some people are getting way more raises than other people. Can I need to be enlightened about this? I mean, I voted as a, as a I thought what I thought was a 3% raise across the board, not like well, I'll be glad to comment in a, in a moment. Uh, there are members of the budget committee here. Commissioner Adcock is not here. Ms. Stewart, our finance director, is here. So if you'd like to make her a member of this body, we can do that. And then any, any budget committee member will be allowed to, to speak if they would like to. Uh, all those in favor of making Ms. Stewart a member of this body, please say aye. Opposed no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I need, need a second for that. I had a second from Commissioner Kevin Gray. So, Ms. Jody, if you'll come up here and any other member of the budget committee that might wish to comment, the chair will simply, will simply say that uh, most of the budget committee members were present at each meeting when every issue like this was raised in terms of uh, evaluating positions. We've got a number of positions that had not really been evaluated since we went since we adopted the pay plan some 10 years ago, and they needed to be addressed. So that's that's why it was done at, at that time in the way that it was. And of course, it was a, approved by the budget committee and then approved by the county commission. You can always go from one line, line item to the next and see what it was last year as opposed to this year. But, I, I would uh, like to make a <clears throat> I'll recognize Commissioner Cowles. I've, I've had some calls about this, and, and the person called me about it told me that she thought we should have uh, made sure everybody knew about the budget. And I told her that the first year when I was on this commission, I wasn't on the budget committee. <clears throat> and I went up to Jody's and I got a budget from her. And I went home and I read it. And I knew what I was voting on. So we had it out for two weeks and everybody knew it was there. We had 10, we had 12 commissioners at the, at the hearing on Thursday before we voted on this on Monday. Five of those were budget committee members. So there were several commissioners there. Nobody asked a question. Well, we think, we thought we were doing something above board. And we dealt, as the mayor said, with some inequities. And, and we thought that everybody knew it because the budget was there for everybody to see. So if anybody feels like this, this something slipped past them, I'm sorry. But that was never the intent. And we feel like that the system is for people to look and know what they're voting on. And I'll agree, but is it is, is on that same budget? Does it go a line item by line item and tell me what person is getting what? Yes, sir, it does. So I can go to each position, each position, and find out. Yes, sir. And I'm just asking what question was asked to me, so it'd be out on the table, so somebody can, if they, the same person can call, the same people can call me can have the answer now. So that's my answer. If, if uh, I had that conversation with the same person. All right, and, I know. but I just. I wanted to be out on the table, but I, I was called and, and informed about it, and I wanted to make sure that, that I let everybody else know about it, that it's not something that I was just trying to... No. Uh, when somebody asked me something, I'm going to ask about sure. it. Sure. Uh, uh, that was my that was my thing, so I, I was wanting to know about it once it brought to my attention about it, and I appreciate you telling me. So if there was 17, if there was seven of you there and five of you, I reckon I voted for a budget, sir. <laughs> Other questions or comments? Commissioner Duggar. Uh, how did the, uh, these, any, um, how was this one department singled out 
to be the one to get all of the money where there's these inequities. I'm, I'm of, not sure that one, one department got all of them. Uh, well, one department, 100 percent of the people in one department got a, above 3 percent. Is that correct? That's what I understood. There was one department, yes, everybody did get it right. Okay. How was the, when I think you could probably go to any department, and I think anybody would say that they had inequities in their uh, people, that they hadn't been evaluated. How was it that this one department, everybody got a raise, and in some departments, nobody got a raise? We had a survey uh, that we got from, I don't know what organization we got it from, but it, it, it gave us a, a breakdown of every county, what they paid their people in different departments. Okay, yeah. And uh, we, a lot of what we did was based off of this. And, and we can get you copies of this if you want. And, and we had some, we still got some inequities. That's one of the things I discovered being on the budget committee. We've still got some inequities. We, uh, the, the sheriff's department is in that inequity. And, and we know we have to deal with it. Uh, we didn't fix everything by any means. Well, I think those people that didn't get fixed are probably the ones that are having some hard feelings over this. I've only heard one this. person have hard feelings, but okay. I'm, I'm just saying, I think the ones, and, and I probably would be one if everybody got a raise and I felt like I should. I probably would be one that, that didn't agree with that. But I think we've created a lot of hard feelings among the other departments. Because again, I don't think I would have as much problem with it is if several people in a, in a lot of departments got raises, <coughs> rather than taking one department and everybody getting a raise. Well, the chair would bring up this point. The only time we've had a comprehensive evaluation of all positions was in 2004. And when that was finished, it cost the county about $760,000. And we had a good pay plan in place there, and con it continued to work equitably until about 2007 and 8 when we hit hard times and, and we ceased to fund it. And in order to go back and do another comprehensive plan where we evaluated every position, you, you'd probably be looking at a comparable amount of money. So I think, and I won't speak for the budget committee because they're here, but I think their thinking was that if you can deal with these inequities and in increments, you finally come around in a few years to get everybody on board rather than hitting us with one big amount at, at, at one time. <clears throat> this possible without him it might have been a three percent raise. And, and I'll be honest I'm, I, I'm not gonna tell you I agree with everything here I won't but I'm not a fan of the three percent overall raise I, I'd rather give it to the people who merit it because I agree there's inequities <coughs> uh, but that seemed to be the way to work this year everyone got three percent I, I think the economy we're in a three percent raise is something to be happy with and, I, uh, and and there's a lot of there are a lot of companies, private companies that aren't giving any raises. So I feel like the three percent was a was a good raise for everybody. Uh, and I understand there's nothing wrong with asking a question, but I will tell you I think the question should have been asked before we all voted yes. Well, I think I left here because it was said that everybody got a three percent raise. I think that was kind of half of the story because there were more that got more than 3%. Yes, ma'am, and the, everyone had a copy of the budget to look at. Right. Everyone did get a 3% raise. That was true. Commissioner Doris. Yeah, one more question. Can you give me uh, what's the highest percentage of a raise we give somebody on this budget? No, sir. And uh, Ms. Jody, can you tell me what the biggest percentage we got on this budget? Does I gave give my people a dollar raise, so no, I did not do a percentage. Percentage raise? I didn't, I didn't look at them. By percentage, I gave a dollar amount. Other questions? Anything else under new business? Chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. Have it by, have it by Commissioner Jones, second by Commissioner Jackson. All those in favor say aye. aye. We stand adjourned. Aye.